Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor over at the serverside.com. I'm also the author of Hibernate Made Easy and a few other textbooks about JSF and SCGA certification. And one of the things I want to talk about right now is LifeRay. I love LifeRay. I've gone over to LifeRay.com. And one of the reasons why I love LifeRay is because it is so darn easy to install. Um, I've gone down to the downloads page over on LifeRay and I'm going to download LifeRay Portal 6.1 Community Edition. You'll notice that just today, well today is February something, 6.1 Enterprise Edition has come out and you can always compare CE versus uh, the Enterprise Edition. The Enterprise Edition has a little bit more of a price tag than the Community Edition. But I'm telling you, I absolutely love the Community Edition. So you'll notice that it gets bundled with a bunch of different products, JBoss, Tomcat, Geronimo, Glassfish. I'm just going to download the one bundled with Tomcat. Click Download. There we go. I'm too impatient. I can't wait those two seconds. I'm going to click Direct Download. And momentarily, through the magic of computers and tutorials, you'll see this 278 meg download complete. So we've now got everything downloaded right here. We'll take a look at this little file and you can actually see that it's 284 megs in size. Uh, not tiny but not huge either. Now one of the things you'll notice in my configuration I've actually got JDK 1.7 already installed so it's in installed underscore JDK 1.7. Also one of the things you're going to need is an environment variable set up pointing to Java Home. So you can see here I've got Java Home pointing to C underscore JDK 1.7, which maps back to where I've installed JDK 1.7. So with that all confirmed, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to install LifeRay. So here we are in my downloads. There is LifeRay. I'm actually going to extract this all right here. And once the extraction is finished, I end up with a little folder in my downloads directory called LifeRay Portal 61CE. I'm actually just going to rename that. I'm going to call it underscore LifeRay and just copy it, cut it right into the root of C. I like to end up having just all of my important folders starting with an underscore. That way, when I come in here and sort things by name, all the important stuff comes right to the fore. It's easy to find it. And of course, with this configured in here, there's my Tomcat folder. In order to start LifeRay, all I need to do is go into my Tomcat folder, head into the bin directory, and run startup. Just write that, run that little startup batch file or startup shell script if you're on a Unix environment. Tomcat will start up. You can see I've got my console window here with all the different printouts that's going to happen as LifeRay starts up. And then as this batch file completes, and you can see startup is successful, server started up in just a few seconds, it automatically pushes this page to me, localhost 8080, and tells me that uh, there's a user account called test test, which I'll be using to log in. It asks me to finish the configuration. So I may as well finish the configuration. A friendly little screen then appears saying your configuration was saved successfully. Do you want to go to your portal? I will click and say yes. Take me to this LifeRay portal that you speak of. A new password has to be set for the test user. I'm just going to put password in there. Answer a few questions. And voila, I have my LifeRay. 
And here we go. There is my LifeRay server. It's all installed. Even a couple of users exist uh, already. I'm actually going to copy this URL and I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Now using LifeRay, I'm actually going to log in as a new user. So I'm going to log in as Bruno. So all of a sudden I've kind of changed how I've logged in. I've logged in now as Bruno. And I'm actually going to go over here to Internet Explorer. And I'm going to log in as Michelle. And you'll notice that after logging in as Michelle in Internet Explorer and logging in as Bruno on LifeRay, one of the things I can do is I can click on Online Friends in the bottom, hand, bottom right hand corner here. I see Michelle's there and I can say, hello Michelle. And then over here in Internet Explorer, I can say, hello Bruno. And you can see all of a sudden, we're now interacting with each other inside. I think I may have to do a quick refresh here, which I don't usually have to do. But you can see now we're having conversations between Bruno and Michelle right out of the, the bat. So Mich Bruno's going to say to Michelle, isn't life very amazing? And here we see right here, or sorry, Michelle says that to Bruno. And there we go into Bruno's window. And you can see that's come up on his text. It certainly is. Return, go back to Michelle's window. And now you can see Bruno's message. So that's just one thing. There you go, 200 megs, okay? A quick two or three minute installation of LifeRay all of a sudden you've got this amazing portal installed that right off the bat has simple messaging functionality between users and you can see that proven between Chrome and Internet Explorer just in the same machine really it's amazing and and this LifeRay product is just an absolutely unbelievable product if you're interested in putting together a portal and getting it up and running quickly. Anyways, head over to the serverside.com. We've always got uh, interesting and new information going on over there. And if you're interested in Hibernate or Java Persistence or even Java Certification, head over to scj.com or hibernatemadeeasy.com and pick up one of my books and see what we have to offer. Anyways, that's it for now. In the time being, happy Java.